Berkeley police are working to identify a woman's body found in the woods Sunday night. It is believed to be the city's first murder since the 90s. Fox 2 Stephanie Rothman spoke exclusively with the mushroom hunter who described the moments leading up to the discovery. Two days after the body of a woman was found in the woods, police are calling it a suspicious death. The remains are believed to be evidence of the city's first murder since the 90s. When you're in a community that is really safe uh, and it's a close knit community, everybody knows each other. Uh, it's it's a shock. Peavely police and the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office await autopsy results from the medical examiner to find out the age and name of the woman. That emotional part hit me uh, because whoever it is, it's someone's family member, it's someone's friend. The person who made the tragic discovery was looking for something else, morel mushrooms. Coincidentally, this marks the second time a Missouri mushroom hunter has found remains over the past week. The first one happened in northern Missouri. I was walking up the hill and I was coming near this long tree that was laid over. There was something huge laying down uh, on the ground. There was a moving blanket. I pulled that back, so I took a big tree limb and lifted it up and it clearly looked like a foot. She said she's still in shock. I walk this every single year, you know, and then to find something like this, you don't know if you're safe in your neighborhood. You don't know who did it. The wooded area where the body was found is pretty remote, but for the neighbors in this mobile home park, as you can see, they're not very far away for many. This was found in their backyard. We feel unsafe. I would have never assumed that would happen, especially this close. I felt like it was an angel that brought me so this family, whoever it is, can their family can get closure. This is an ongoing investigation. Anyone with information is asked to call police. Reporting at Peebley, Stephanie Rothman, Fox 2 News.